Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel. I am so excited for today's video. If you saw the thumbnail, you will know we are gonna be using the Lisa Eldridge new cream products. I am so excited. If you know me, you'll know I really do love a good cream or liquid blusher highlight. I had Lisa Eldridge on my list of brands to try in 2021, and here I am doing it for you today. I did already film my lip product haul. I wanted to break these videos up so that I could give each of the products justice. So that video is either up or will be going up shortly. I will make sure to have it linked down in the description box, but today it's gonna be all about the face and I'm so very excited. What I thought we would do is do try on of both these blushes. I am gonna do a wear test for you, of course, with the highlight as well. And then I thought I would do some swatch comparisons. You guys know, like I said, I love a good cream or liquid blush. So I thought that I would pull out some either, you know, like formulas that I think are similar or colors. We'll see what I get into as I dig into my makeup drawer. But if you want to see these products applied, you want to know how they were on my face, that's going to be what we're getting into today. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. If that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's go ahead and play. All right, I honestly cannot stop smiling. I am so excited to get this on my face. I do have two of the blush shades. In all honesty, I wanted more. I'm probably, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't get more. I was talking in the other video about like, why go gangbusters buying a bunch of shades if I don't even know if I love the formula? So granted, from what I've heard so far, now I've only watched one video on these so far. <laughs> and that was my friend Aileen over at Amerge Beauty. I will make sure to link her video and a couple other creators videos so that you can see some of these shades on different skin tones. But she's the only one that I watched and I'm trying not to like be influenced by influencers, if you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> I am going into this pretty blind. I do have two of the shades, like I said, I have Mountain Walk and I also have Island Glow. Uh, of course, you guys know that if there's a peachy corally blush, I'm gonna snag it. I also thought that Mountain Walk would be nice because it's something different than a lot of my cream blushes. I really wanted pink soap. It was out of stock by the time I remembered that the launch was happening. But again, I think pink soap is one of those shades that like I probably have within my collection, so it's okay. I mean, these blushes run for 34 US dollars, so they're not inexpensive. I'm glad that I only got two so I can try out the formula before I go crazy buying the whole collection. So what I thought I would do is apply one with fingers and one with a brush. Of course, you could also use a beauty sponge as well. Maybe we'll see, maybe I'll end up needing to use a beauty sponge. I don't know, we will see, but I thought fingers and a brush would be the way that I would normally apply these. I have sort of gotten out of using beauty sponges, not because I don't love it, it's just, honestly, I think I've talked about this before, I'm too lazy to go wet my sponge. I have a bunch of brushes in front of me they're just what's at hand, so that's probably gonna be what I use. Okay, we're yammering on. <laughs> so these blushes have 0.15 mils or half an ounce. That's actually, that's actually quite a bit of blush. It's gonna take you a long time to get through this. I have a feeling these are pretty pigmented, of course buildable. Uh, I'm very excited to get into these. Now, towards the end of this video, I will also give some price per ounce comparisons to a couple other brands, just so that you guys can kind of like see what you're getting for the price. But let's just go ahead and put some of this on our face, so come on in. All right, now we're nice and close. You guys will be able to see what's going on. By the way, I am enjoying Lisa Eldridge on my lips, so make sure that you check out that other video so you can get all the deets. Let's get right into this. I am totally going to do one of these on each cheek, and I'm going to wear them for the entire day. I'll let you know how I feel up at the end of the day. I do have a Zoom call in a little bit, so that's gonna be really interesting being like too cheeked, but I don't really care. It's all good. They know that I am trying makeup out all the time, so it's no biggie. But I just wanted to be able to give you guys a wear test. Now, I will have everything that I'm wearing on my face linked down below. I wanted something that was just mostly really soft, a skin product that I know that I love. I did put on a tiny bit of contour, but nothing crazy. So there shouldn't be anything that really like affects the color outcome of this, which is obviously really important. But stop talking, Kelly, and get to applying. So. I do have to say one thing, I do have to say one thing about these blushes. So my delivery came approximately a week ago and it has just been like chilling out over in the corner. Now I did notice when I opened up my Island Glow shade because I have not worn these yet but I did swatch them for an Instagram reel and the Island Glow had like a bit of an oil right through the front 
And so I like recapped it and I shook it and I tried to like meld it together a little bit so that hopefully that separation would like mix up together. Now I know that Lisa does say that this has ingredients like bilberry and raspberry seed oils. So that is probably why this product separated a little bit. However, this shade, the Mountain Walk shade, this had almost the opposite happen. All of the like, pigment was stuck down in, I don't know why I just took that off, all of the pigment was stuck down in this little part. And so I was starting to like squeeze it out and it it was going very slow and very hard. And I was like, yeah, I know what's gonna happen here. So I like, <laughs> I away from me went and tried to squeeze this out. Actually, I put it out onto the invoice that came in the box and unfortunately, exactly what I thought would happen happened. There was like a bunch of dried pigment in the front that like torpedoed out and a bunch of products splooged out behind it. So that's unfortunate, especially because this is a new top. Uh, and even though I had it further away, I, it did end up getting on this shirt. So hopefully I'll be able to get that out. I mean, Amazon Prime Days deals, right? Like it's not like I spent a crazy ton of money, but I do have some blush on my shirt now. And that's a bummer. And also I probably just lost like $2 in product. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but just a little like forewarning make sure that you try to like give this a little shake if it's shipped to you if you are in the states or you know not in the uk obviously that shipping is going to take a while some settling can happen uh it's a little bit of a bummer i don't know other than maybe like taking a pin and like popping it in how else i could have like managed that but i am glad that i at least took some precautions because if i had been any closer it would have been a hot mess i'm gonna like put a little picture in so you guys can see the aftermath of this but yeah so i did end up squeezing a little bit of this out to get some of that oil that was in the front of the tube out and then uh of course had the little explosion here i can actually i can already kind of tell like how much less there is in here and i haven't even used it yet all right we're gonna do island glow first just because in all honesty i think that this is going to be a shade that is uh, a little more forgiving as we blend out. So that's gonna be what I start out with. Um, this is really pretty. It's very, it matches my top. Now I wish that this was the one that exploded on me because then it would have just blended right in. But uh, I can tell that this is just gonna be like a nice serum-y feel. Now, Lisa says that you only need the tiniest amount to start building the desired intensity, all the while feeling comfortable and imparting dewy hydration, a translucent, natural, skin-like finish that is neither too dewy nor too matte. And I could say right off the bat, that is gonna be the truth here. And I'm gonna, I could probably leave it here, but I'm gonna do just a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna look so blushy. But uh, I, wow, this is really blending out very, very nicely on the skin. I'm gonna bring it up into my temples just a little bit. It is glowing, but not from shine, from like almost, I don't know. It doesn't have like, it doesn't have any sheen to it, but it has just enough hydration. Now, obviously I'm wearing something that's fairly glowy as my base anyway, but mm, it's beautiful. I would also like to try this product on the lips. It it would just be like a really beautiful flush of color. Now, Lisa describes this as a warm, bright coral that imparts the skin with a deliciously sunny, warm blush. And I would say, and she says that it actually looks good on olive, medium, and deeper skin tones. I do consider myself olive, but nowhere near medium or deep. But I mean, this obviously, you could build this up quite a bit. Should we just go a little bit more? I'm just gonna do like, right over the like main part of the cheekbone. I definitely look, <laughs> I definitely look very blushy. Uh, I probably would not wear like this intense of a lip color if I was going to wear this much blush, but we're, we're just going for it. It's makeup, it all comes off at the end of the day or even sooner if you so choose. So I'm just gonna wipe this off my hand. So there is just the tiniest bit of blush left here so you do get just like that tiny tiny bit of staining but it feels very good like it feels like my hand is hydrated more so um, I definitely think that this is a product that lends well to finger blending if that's what you're into um, I'm gonna go ahead and like I said use a brush on the other side just so that we can see that all right I have pulled out the Wayne Goss number three from the new Goss edit uh, this way I think that it's like 
it's a very like lightly packed brush so I think that it will be a good one to have with such an intense color I'm still scared that this is because it's like the consistency is not the same as this one and it makes me wonder until I get some of what's thicker here out even though a lot exploded out I don't know if it's gonna be the same consistency but that's just kind of a bummer uh, this color does look really pretty though it's this beautiful like berry tone oh I really I really want to put this one on my lips too but we're gonna leave this lipstick on okay so I'm just going to dab from my hand into this blush Yeah, like the tiniest amount of this blush is needed on my skin tone. What I love is that these shades really do seem to be so buildable that, you know, a medium or deep skin tone should be able to enjoy these as well because they do have a bit more pigment that you could build up. But like, that's enough blush. That's enough blush for the week. But, you know, that's the other thing though about like a squeezy tube. Is it going to... Is it gonna end up making us all waste some product? Maybe. Um, I mean, I do think that I would probably end up just like trying to get like even less than that out of the tube and probably, I really think these are so like blendable that I probably would just use my fingers. And you guys know usually I'm like team no fingers, but for some reason like, um, like a cream blush or highlight is something that I can, I can get down with using with my fingers. I don't know why I'm that way, but I am. All right, so here we have Mountain Walk, and then again on the other side is Island Glow. They're both really pretty. This tone, maybe it's not quite as electric, but the tone of this, if you like spread it out, it reminds me of the blush in Vivid Azalea from Wayne Goss. Again, maybe not quite as vibrant, but it's very pretty. But I mean, these have a significant amount of play time. I mean, I've been sitting here for a few minutes and you guys can see like I was able to still like blend and blur that out on my hand. So that's really exciting to see. Uh, that does mean that, you know, they're probably gonna be more user friendly. I will be curious to see the wear time of these. Now I did actually, uh, before we applied, I did set my under eye with powder, but I don't have any other powder on my face. And I think what I'm going to do is after we apply the highlight, I think I'm just gonna let it go unpowdered because usually if I'm wearing a cream product, uh, I want it to have that like extra, I don't wanna say dewy because this isn't a dewy product, but that extra, juicy healthy skin look so i don't want to throw powder over the top of that so i think that that's probably what we'll do so you guys will have to let me know do you have a shade that you prefer i really do like it i though uh and i think aileen might have even said this in her video i do think that a couple of these shades you could sheer out or build up to look similar to each other so i don't really think that you'd need to have all of these in your collection even if you love the formula anyway let's get into the highlighter all right, let's get a little glow going on. So we have the Elevated Glow Highlighter. Now this is the second of four shades and it's Cosmic Rose. You guys had to know a rose gold shade is gonna be what I grab and that's exactly what Lisa describes this as. She says that it is a light medium rosy gold that beautifully complements light to medium skin tone. So. That's perfect for me. The one that was above this, uh, Crystal Nebula, it honestly just looked like more of a light, like beigey champagne, or even more like a golden champagne, and I have tones like that. I mean, let's be honest, I might have a tone like this within my collection, but I was excited <laughs> to try anything that sort of has more of that rosy tone, so that is why I chose Cosmic Rose. Lisa says that the Elevated Glow formula contains lots of small, multicolored, shimmering pearls in a sheer, lightly tinted, and skin adaptive base. And so the level of shimmer on the skin depends on how much you apply. So obviously you can build up, which I think is, you know, pretty common with any liquid formula. So I don't necessarily think that that's like unique, but I do think that if this really does have the hydrating, elasticizing, lifting and moisturizing activities that she claims it does, that might be where you see it, where it's like makeup that's really like kind to your skin as well. I don't know necessarily that I believe like makeup has like super skincare benefits, but it could be something that certainly doesn't like make it worse. So anyway, I'm just gonna start to get on my soapbox there. So let's go ahead and swatch this shade out. 
this is very pretty. Yep, I can definitely tell that this is going to be a very like skin friendly. I mean, you guys can probably see there like if I turn it. Mm, so I would say that calling this like a rosy gold, I mean, maybe. Honestly, what I would say that this is, is more beige. Because to me, beige is like a pinky nude if that makes sense. And that's to me what, what this is going to be. When I think rose gold, I think it has like a bit more of that rosy tone to it. That's just me. But let's go ahead and apply this to the face. Again, I'm going to just use my fingers. I'm sorry, I don't know why I always use my middle finger to do this, but I hope it doesn't bother you guys. <laughs> so, oh, this looks so pretty. And the thing about this shade though is because it's not too pink, but it's also not too gold, I think it would go with just about any makeup, just about any blush that you put on. So I think that it's gonna be really adaptive, which is gonna be great, but can you guys see the difference between the non-highlighted and the highlighted side? It just looks like hydration to me. It doesn't look like overly glowy. This has a thin consistency. Um, I would say that it's definitely thinner than say like Auric, uh, which you guys know I really do love the Auric Glow Lust, um, but that one is a bit thicker where this is truly more of a liquid consistency. And I, I actually do think, so on my skin tone, because I am more like neutral leaning into warm, I do think it, it looks more pinky on my skin, but if you have like a neutral or a neutral to cool skin tone, this is probably just gonna look like nude to you on your skin. That would be my impression. So. That is something to keep in mind when you are looking at tones of highlighters, of blushes, all of those different things. You have to keep your skin tone in mind too, not just like the depth of your pigmentation, but like the tone of your skin. Because if you pick out something that's a light gold, it might look you know, like a great nude color on someone who has a more warm skin tone. But if you have a pink like or a cool undertone of skin, it's going to look hella gold on you. So just keep that in mind. So I do think that this color, if you have a neutral to cool skin tone, it's going to look more like a nude on you. If you have a neutral to warm skin tone, you're definitely gonna see a little bit more of that pink coming through, but I love it either way. Oh, I guess we're gonna blush our nose a little bit. Shoot, I must have had, uh, when I tapped like this, I do think that that highlight uh, I don't want to say like pulled up, but I think the highlight like mixed with some of the blush because then when I tapped it over my nose, it uh, it added a little blush to my nose, which I'm not necessarily going to be mad at, but let's, let's give that a little blend. Dang it. Okay. And you know, I'm not even one to usually like highlight my nose that much just because it, it gets a little glossy on its own, but I don't know. I was just having, I was in the moment. I was in the moment. I wanted to try it out. Okay, we've, we've sort of salvaged that. I don't, again, I don't mind a little bit. I do think now that like the blush has been sitting here, maybe it's because I've just been seeing my face for longer, but like even loading that on, it looks pretty good. And I do think that, you know, putting the glow over the top of it, it's softened out the color a little bit more. So you could even obviously do this in the reverse. You could put the highlight on first and then put the blush over the top to sort of give it like a more like inner luminosity. And then you'll see a little bit more of the pigmentation of the blush. But I think that this makes it look even more skin-like. Like it just looks like I'm even more like summer flushed. I really like it. All right, I think, like I said, I'm not going to set this with powder. I am going to spray it down a bit though. I think today I am going to go through with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Uh, this is one that I've actually been using quite a bit recently and I'm enjoying the lasting power. The scent is getting to me and not that it's overly strong because I don't think it's overly strong. I just, I just don't like the actual fragrance of it, but what are you gonna do? Okay, just a light dose of that. Let's go ahead and zoom out and we can chat a little bit about this and then I'll give you guys some comparison swatches. Again, we have Mountain Walk on this side and then we have Island Glow on this side. I really do like them both. I think they're both very beautiful. I am excited to play with them more. And then of course, obviously this Cosmic Rose, I think that that looks so beautiful. I do have to play with these a little bit more to give you guys like really in-depth thoughts so let me know if you guys want to see an update video or if you maybe i should just use it for like a get ready with me in the future and give you guys my thoughts 
I don't know what you guys prefer. Like I do review roundup videos sometimes, but I feel like those don't really get a lot of interest. So what is the best way that you guys want info from me? Let me know, but I have a few thoughts already. So number one, obviously you guys know I was a little disappointed in the whole separation action of these. I will say I also feel like, so Again, I am not, I don't really consider myself a packaging snob, but these blushes have like little clear stickers on them on the back, and that's how you know what the color is. I just can see, for some reason, I just see that like coming off over time. I don't know why. It's like, it's, it's just like, it's like the sticker that you would find like on the bottom of a nail polish, except clear. I don't know. That just sort of takes away like some of the like, glamour for me. I just feel like there is so much detail that goes into every lipstick. You have obviously at least this little like monogram, the like lipsticks themselves, like the Velvet Beauty uh, has that like velvet finish and then the uh, Luxuriously Lucent has her little monogram like etched right into the side. You have the beautiful magnetic closure and then these I feel like the packaging just falls short in that experience. I mean I think that this is very luxe and very beautiful, um, kind of like reminiscent of the Auric packaging. Different, obviously, but like that frosted glass, you have, you know, a nice cap to it. Uh, this is obviously a doe foot applicator. I don't know which I prefer, a doe or a pump. I guess if you're just using it on your own skin, a doe foot is nice, but like I said, I do think that that blush was picked up a little bit by or mixed into the highlight on this side. So I could see like the doe foot getting a little like icky, almost like putting lip gloss with a doe foot over lipstick. So maybe I do prefer pump. Obviously you can just totally do what I did, which is like put a little bit on your hand and put it on your face. But then again, you are wasting a little bit on your hand to then apply it to your face. Anyway, so that's the one thing that I would have to say is I feel like the packaging falls a little bit short here. I mean, this packaging kind of reminds me of the Flower Beauty packaging. A different, but plastic tube, squeeze out. I don't know. That's that's what I have to say about that. Um, other than that, I mean, I think that they look really beautiful. I will be curious to see how this acts over the top of other creams and other powder products. Um, I find that I do have some cream highlights that I can apply over powders totally with no problem. I'll be curious to see if this is one of those. Again, that's gonna be one of those things that I have to see over time. I do really wanna do like a battle of like the cream highlight and the cream blushes, or like maybe just like a my top phase. Let me know if you guys do wanna see that since I have so many of them. I could definitely do that for you guys. Uh, I've definitely had a lot of fun getting to play with all of these Lisa Eldridge items. Again, no regrets in my purchases. I am going to really enjoy all of these products. I just need to dig a little deeper to see more details on how I feel. It is currently a little after two. I would say that I've had this on for about a half an hour now, so we will come back towards the end of the night. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I have, again, like I said, a Zoom meeting, and then I have some other like editing work and yada, yada, yada to do. So it's not like I'm running a marathon or anything, but we'll get, a, we'll get a good vibe, especially for cream products. We'll get a good vibe of how this lasts. So why don't we go ahead and get into some of those comparisons? All right, so what I've done is I put the two shades of the enlivening blush that I have on the outer ends, and then we're kind of like working our way in. I wanted to pull out some different formulas and then some different shades that I thought were like close-ish. So we have from this side, we have the Mountain Walk shade, and this is the new Natasha Denona Puff Paint. And then this is the shade Bloom from Natasha Denona. And then we have a formula that I honestly haven't played with enough, but I thought that um, I would pull it out just to show. This is the Dewy Blush Elixir from Physician's Formula. As you can see, that's much dewier. I would actually say that the Puff Paint and the uh, Lisa Eldridge, they look similar here, but from applying, I do think that the Puff Paints are just like slightly more matte, but not like chalky. But then next to that one, we have the Ilia, uh, this is the Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment, and that is the shade before today. Obviously, not a color match at all. It was more just to show you guys the formula. And then we have two of the Glossier Cloud Paints. So this is what I thought um, would be most similar. And actually, I think that these are more... I don't know. I think that they are actually similar, but maybe even more pigmented. Maybe less easy to blend out. I mean, first of all, 
the squeeze tubes every single time I get way too much out every single time so I had a hard time like not making a mess of these swatches but here we have beam and then dawn and then here we're moving into um, what I actually thought is pretty darn close these are the flower blush bombs this is the shade melon now if these look like extra dewy it's probably just because I didn't like completely rub out the swatch but I would say that honestly this formula is fairly close as far as you know like the amount of pigmentation the amount of blendability I would say that these are going to be pretty close I really do love the melon shade and I actually think that that melon shade is pretty darn close to the Lisa Eldridge uh, what was that island glow all right so right here we have the rare beauty blush enjoy I would say that I thought that they would be kind of close but the thing is is the Lisa Eldridge actually has a bit more pink to it even than what I thought it was going to have so it really is a true coral not into the orange I wish that I had I wish that there was a true orange but obviously I've got some true oranges in my collection uh, speaking of true oranges we're starting to move into some of those so we have the sunset sky shade from M cosmetics this one is definitely more sheer and much more like glossy it's more of that liquid serum blush then this is is the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush in Sweet Nectar. Again, a more orangey shade. Like I would say that these two are kind of on par with each other. This is really, again, more into that like corally shade. So hopefully that kind of helps you. Um, I will go ahead and pop a couple of the ones that I thought were somewhat similar and I'll give you guys a price per ounce as I've been yammering on about this as well. So hopefully you find that helpful. Well, in true Kelly fashion, once again, I forgot that I was gonna be doing a makeup check-in. It is now nine o'clock at night. I believe it was around two o'clock that I said when we had thrown on our makeup. However, I have totally been touching my face. Part of that is just because I've been at home for the rest of the day and you know wasn't really going anywhere. Part of it is also that I'm still so used to wearing a mask all the time that I usually don't have makeup underneath that mask and so I'm used to just having like the ability to touch my face entirely other than like my eyes or the previous year or so. Um, so I'm sorry. I don't know if this is gonna be a true test of the makeup because like I said, I have been touching my face. However, that being said, I do think I can still see quite a glow from the highlight, which is really impressive. The blush is mostly worn off at this point and mm, seven hours in I think that's kind of to be expected for cream blush especially given that I didn't set it so that's what I have for you guys I'm sorry this is probably not very helpful at all so what I will do to hopefully redeem myself for the next day or two I will make sure to wear these products and keep my hands off my face <laughs> and then that way I can tell you guys how it has been and I will make sure to leave a comment down below so make sure to check that out now back to the video all right, that's gonna be it for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed getting to see this little Lisa Eldridge try-on. You will have to let me know, did you pick anything up in the launch? I know that right now, I think all of the blushes are sold out. I do think that all of the highlighters are still in stock. And of course, you know, there's always restocks in the future. I personally am excited to play more with these. Again, I will give you my thoughts in the future. If you have a format that you'd like to see that in, let me know in the comments down below. It really does mean so much to me that you take a bit of your day to spend it with me. And if you did enjoy this, don't forget to give it a like. It really does help me out. I'll see you really soon.